we have seen communities that have been evacuated, homes and businesses destroyed, and vast areas burned. And we have certainly undertaken action to try to ensure that Canada is as prepared as possible for, uh, for what is happening this year and what we expect will continue to happen in years to come. We have been training a thousand new for uh, firefighters. I announced uh, 300 Indigenous firefighters and 125 fire guardians through pilots that we have undertaken just last month. We are also supporting provinces and territories to get the equipment that they are going to need. Ces équipements comprennent des éléments tels que les tuyaux, l'avionique, les équipements de communication avancés et d'autres encore. But climate change, as we all know, is a global issue. Its impact requires a global response. We, for example, sent 160 Canadian personnel to Australia during the 2019-2020 period. And certainly for decades, Canada and the United States have both received and deployed firefighting support to one another most years. That is why I am certainly pleased to have met with Ambassador Cohen this morning to sign a memorandum of understanding between Canada and the United States. Nous sommes des alliés, des partenaires, des voisins. Nous nous soutenons mutuellement lorsque c'est nécessaire. This MOU will increase the ease of cross-border support and modernize many existing agreements. It makes our support, our reciprocal support, more efficient. It will enhance our ability to fight wildland fires. It sets out procedures for the exchange of these resources. It establishes a framework that encourages mutual assistance and cooperation. In the past, the wild, uh, wildland fire resources sharing between our two countries was pretty much ad hoc. It relied on a number of different arrangements, and they were only focused on fire suppression. This MOU will allow better coordination uh, with our partners at the province and territories to ensure adequate firefighting resources. This will include not just suppression, but also work in prevention, in monitoring, in research, in risk mitigation, and other technical areas. Already this season, we have seen very significant support from our American friends, and we are very grateful for the support that has been provided. Over 900 American firefighters, incident managers, and support staff have been deployed in Canada to date, and more will be on their way if we need them. It is a real reminder um, that, that taking on wildland fires is something that is particularly well suited for a binational approach because Wildland fires do not respect borders. Um, it, the wildland fire doesn't know when they're about to cross the Canadian border into the United States. And certainly the smoke in the atmosphere um, is not respecting our geographic boundaries. So I'm very proud of the relationship that's existed for many years between Canada and the United States um, in terms of dealing with wildland fires. Um, I, I hear in the wake of our smoke and the substantial effort that's being exerted, I hear, um, I hear from some Americans, a very small minority, people who do not understand the way this relationship works. I hear questions about um, whether our substantial effort is merited and deserved. And I always start with something which people don't realize, which is when the United States needed Canada, with our out-of-control wildland fires in 2020 in the northwestern United States, Canada was there for us.